All right, I just wanted to do a short uh, video introduction to Econet's uh, EV100 series of wireless vents. Um, before I get to the meat of the uh, product and its application, I just wanted to give you an overlay of my office here upstairs because I have a couple of vents here. I have one in the ceiling here and one in the ceiling here over by my desk. And I'm just going to go downstairs quickly and show you where the, uh, the controller is, the Smart Things controller. Just to give you a feel for the outlay for the office, that's the reception area with a second office in there. And this is kind of a little lab in here. And there's the, uh, the Smart Things uh, controller. All right, so the problem with this office is in the loft office upstairs, when I have the vents open, they don't get any heat downstairs. So this was a good application of our vents. All right, so let's take the vent out of the ceiling here, just so you can uh, see it. This vent I've modified with some uh, magnets for easy uh, mounting. Because it just pulls out of here. I've added some uh, I've added some magnets to the sides. It's kind of a little mod that we're considering as a standard option. All right, so we'll go back over so I can demonstrate this. All right. So this thing is obviously not plugged into anything. I'm just here for just so you can see what uh, we use. And I'm just going to prop this up on one of our pucks so I can show it to you opening and closing. Okay, so the vent is, you know, designed to be used with some hub controller that has a Z-Wave controller in it. The, um, the SmartThings hub has Z-Wave, Zigbee, and Wi-Fi, and there's a new version soon to have uh, Bluetooth in it. But it works with other hubs as well, including uh, the Viralite, uh, Control 4, um, Home Seer, it works with their products now. And we've been trying to get it to work with Wink, but we're waiting to hear back from the, uh, the Wink people. All right, in any case, here's the vent. It's available in uh, five sizes, two, four, and six inch uh, widths, and uh, 10 and 12 inch heights uh, for the whole cutout size. So the vent can be controlled manually here for open and close, or of course with an app. I have this running on uh, two phones right now, but uh, let's just go to the app here. And it just bounced to my window. And I have two of the, uh, the vents together, so this one's going to open and the one that's left in the ceiling uh, should open. You'll see this one. And I could hear the one behind me uh, open. They open together. And now they're going to close together. All right, and you can also do it individually. You could control each individually, but I have them paired out for obvious reasons in my office. And what I have set up for the office is um, I have two things set up. One is when I'm not here, they, uh, they close automatically, which makes it, uh, the system more efficient for the downstairs because they're always colder downstairs. I also have a temperature app running in SmartThings on a green living called the Virtual app so I picked my uh, sensor so I picked the motion sensor in the office and this motion sensor is from smart things and I can show it to you here so that sensor also has a built-in temperature sensor that interfaces with this app that I'm just going to show you so I've picked that uh, sensor for the uh, the temperature feedback and Let's just go, uh, all right, so done. And then I pick the two, uh, you can pick the two, nope, sorry, that's the wrong app. Nope, sorry. Yeah, so the two vents, EV100 blue, I call it, and EV100 yellow, just to give them a name. You can see them there. If this camera's focused enough. And that I sent a, a temperature of uh, 73 degrees. So when it gets above 73 degrees in here, these vents close. So throughout the day, I might feel like I want to close the vents. 
I'll close them and uh, the temperature thing will automatically open them until it's 73 degrees and then when it gets 73 or above it'll close the vents. Alright, so that was pretty simple video and I'm just going to pop this back in here. That's an easy pop in with these magnets on it. And I'll just uh, again show it to you working with the app, just so you can just so you can see it working, I guess. All right, so I'm going to go back to the combination where the two open and close, and uh, all you can see that what happens is is that we set it, and some people don't like this, and we're going to be making some changes for our next version. So that when it opens, the light blinks green, and when it closes, the light uh, blinks red. And it's just kind of a diagnostic thing. Oh, I guess the camera missed that, so I'll do it one more time. So it should blink red this time. And then when it opens, it blinks green. There we go. All right, so that's it for my short uh, video. Thank you for your time.